This place is huge! Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. We're way behind schedule. Solidify! Yeah, I'm going back for that chest. Next on me.
place is getting weirder by the minute! Oh, hey! What's the matter? You don't look so good! Nothing to fear! Solidify! This is order! It's a roar!
Today will be your last. Now die! Is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay! You can- I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was... Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hapatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later, and they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them, but I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> well, if... All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet... Mm, sounds...
fun. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing. And the box is a nice touch, too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit borneal for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit borneal primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, Anyone who can establish a connection with Ermasol in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit borneal would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit borneal should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawa Starshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life, Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Wow! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risks, Hapasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moon. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have... Th What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound... Well, it's... Str ah. Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. 
The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that would... Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Su... I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recalled the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansol? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansol itself. Hmm. World forget me. Uh, uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please, there's no need to be thanking me. You two are my... Hapasia is alright, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. 